Hi, I'm Sulin with HBW TV. In today's society of bubble milk tea and other sweet delicacies, diabetes has become somewhat of a common occurrence. With me today, I have Dr. Sri to talk about diabetes and its relation to wound healing. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you, HBW TV, for inviting me. So tell me, doctor, what is your area of interest? My special area of interest is general practice, but uh, I have a special interest in wound management, especially advanced wound management and uh, wound repair. What is the relation to wound healing and diabetes then? Wound occurs everywhere. You know, everyone goes, everyone uh, somehow sustains wound. But the difference between a uh, normal wound and a uh, chronic wound is the time that takes for the wound to heal. You know, like a uh, chronic wound uh, takes more longer time to heal. Uh, unlike a uh, normal wound which is uh, heals in a specific time. But chronic wound, it, um, it takes longer longer and then uh, it misses the stages of healing so there's a delay and this chronic wound progresses to become infected and at the end of the day uh, the tissue dies and then there's, uh, it's not probable to salvage the, the wound and uh, patients end up losing their limbs okay you asked about uh, what is the relation between wound and diabetes now diabetic patients have tendency to develop peripheral neuropathy when the diabetes have peripheral neuropathy, they don't have any sensations in their peripheral, in their legs and everything. So when they walk around barefooted, they get any injuries or they uh, wear the wrong footwear, they get any uh, um, cuts or bruises or due to pressure, they, they don't have the tendency to feel the pain. So when they don't feel the pain, they don't realize there's a wound in the leg until a moment when they, they, they have pain or they uh, notice there's a pus coming out uh, or foul smell then they realize there's, uh, there's a wound there na? and then uh, after that the wound progresses get infected and then the, um, the tissue starts dying due to certain factors like uh, uh, lack of blood flow no sensation this is how uh, most of the wounds actually majority wounds are diabetic. I mean, most of the wounds that the chronic wounds are really uh, related to diabetic lah. But not all chronic wounds are diabetic. They are also due to pressure sores. They are uh, also due to vascular reasons. Uh, then there's also due to uh, traumatic reasons. You know, but majority wounds are diabetic related. So, is there a correlation between being diabetic and having a higher chance of getting a chronic wound versus a normal wound? There is a very high chance because uh, diabetic, when you're diabetic, you're immunocompromised, your healing is affected. Uh, so any wound that uh, occurs in a diabetic, if neglected, can progress to become chronic. So doctor, you've been in Malaysia for a very long time, I believe. What do you think is the Malaysian culture towards diabetes and their awareness towards the dangers that may occur from it? I'm sure Malaysians are aware about diabetes. Uh, but the thing is, Asia, as if you take Asia, if the diabetic prevalence in Asia is alarmingly high, you know, and especially in Malaysia, the study have shown that by year of 2030, more than 2.5 million uh, population will end up with diabetes. Is there a specific reason for why Malaysians have such a high diabetic population? Very good food. <laughs> Very good food. So it's both a blessing and a curse then at the same time. So are there any ways that Malaysians as a culture, because we can't give up our food, right? So is there a way that we can prevent diabetes while also still enjoying what we love? Well, diabetes, it, uh, it's already there. You know, you want to prevent, then you have to advise patients to control their diet, exercise more regularly, and you know, monitor the sugar. And then if they are diagnosed as diabetic, to be to take medication regularly, seek treatment early, you know. Most of the diabetic you can identify earlier, at early stage, uh -huh. you know. There are a lot of, especially health screening, yeah. you know. Usually we advise uh, those who have a high risk of diabetes, especially in family. So if they are, their fathers and mothers, grandparents, relatives, all are diabetic, it's always good to monitor. And how would someone monitor this? Well, there's always a blood test, mm -hmm. you know, health screening. 
yep. you know there's a lot of medical facilities that are doing uh, health screening mm -hmm. which is important we we try to advise patients educate people the importance of health screening yep. you don't wait until you fall sick and then you seek treatment Definitely. you know the the policy the the idea now is to, to seek uh, to get a uh, medical screening first you know prevention is better than cure you know you uh, you know there are chances of getting diabetics you screen early you monitor yearly and then you take the proper action towards preventing then when it happens take the right medicine so this is the way you can prevent so you talk about the importance of health screening what would be your recommend uh, recommendations for how often someone goes for a health screening usually there's a certain age mm -hmm. when the body starts uh, reproduction you know, generation, generating and all these things, the cells start generating. So, at that age, usually, I, I usually advise about 35, age of 35, you know, to go for health screening. So, in, in the initial stage, if your, your results are all normal, you can uh, come back after two years and screen. And then after that, if at all, there's some abnormalities. And then you do it every year, monitor your blood every year, you know. Then you can predict. Most of the blood tests will tell you early, you don't have to wait until the blood test tells you are diabetic. You know, when you do a regular screening, the changes that you see, small, small changes that you see in your blood test are very clear indication something is going to happen to you. Mm -hmm. You know, this is why the health screening is very important. So does that mean that detection of diabetes early can lead to better results, um, simpler cures perhaps? See, the prevention is very important. It doesn't start uh, at the age of 35 or something like that. It starts very early when you are an infant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There are many studies shows that uh, the formula milks that you are consuming, we are providing to our children. In in the long term, when we it, it affects the pancreas and uh, affects the insulin production, and this predisposes to chance of you getting diabetes. Yep. Studies have really uh, studies have shown uh, children who are fed with uh, formula milks uh, have higher risk of getting diabetes. Okay. This is why we, we advise mothers to breastfeed. Yep. That's, that's wonderful advice. And speaking of advice, now that we are running out of time, do you have any few words of advice you would like to give our audience before we close for tonight? Well, for diabetic patients, my advice is monitor your sugar, take your medication properly, eat moderately, exercise, and uh, I know uh, shoes are also very important. There are a lot of people like to have, have fancy fancy shoes. Choose the right shoe with proper insoles, and uh, if you get any wounds, make sure you wash them with the cold hot warm water, and then uh, treat it properly. If you notice any, any kinds of uh, discharge, or any foul order, seek medical treatment early, you know. And if you are diagnosed with diabetes, very important that you 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 monitor your food well. That means every night make sure um, if you are not able to assess your your food, ask someone to have a look. You know, before you go to sleep, is there any injuries in your food? Any uh, heart calluses in your soul? You know. So if there's anything like that, immediately seek treatment. And you also mentioned the importance of medical screening, right? Yes, medical screening is very important. So make sure if you are diabetic, if you have any comorbids like hypertension, anything or a strong family history of any diseases, make sure you do have a medical screening annually, annually done. Thank you very much, doctor, for your time. Thank you. Thank you.